I'm Maria Quigley and I'm on the Maths Growth Team. I'm Daniela Elford and I'm a specialist on the Mathematics Growth Team. Hi, I'm uh, Matt White. I'm part of the Mathematics Growth Team. Um, I'm in the role of a trainer. I'm Leanne Hancock and I'm part of the Mathematics Growth Team and I'm based here at Gorican High School. I am Rachel Winter. I'm on the Maths Growth Team. I love working with teachers uh, across both my own school and other schools. And I love having this role because it gives me a chance to share my passion for mathematics with other teachers and with students. So really I'm here partially teaching, so teach a few classes. Um, a lot of my rest of my time is working with other teachers. Um, so we're looking at evidence-based pedagogy, running little PL sessions, demonstrations, team teaching. It's quite a broad list if you like. <laughs> One of the most important things I find in this role is the time to work with staff. The time to build rapport with staff and then the time to spend in their classrooms and helping them build engagement with their students. It's, it's been a really good opportunity. And I work with staff across a few schools um, to help develop their skills within the classroom and in content. I feel really lucky to have had the opportunity to work with so many um, great teachers. I think this job is really one for people that are not just passionate about maths and teaching maths but are really passionate about helping other people so that's one of the things that really drew me to it was being able to help other people grow in their teaching and I just don't think that there's really much better that you can do within this um, industry. This role has been really valuable for me in terms of my growth as a teacher educator um, it's actually given me the time to actually explore and delve deeper and trial things that in a normal role often doesn't exist. If you're passionate about teaching and learning, if your drive is around our, what I see as our core business, the actual pedagogy of what we're doing in the classroom, and you enjoy that way over the admin side of things, then I would definitely put your hand up for it. But bear in mind, it is that really steep learning curve. And it will, it is life changing, I find. It's been exceptionally different in my role here to what I've ever done previously. It's pretty hard not to go past the math growth team. Like it's, it's a pretty good job. Because <laughs> um, you, you finally get the time to do the things that you want to do. If there's someone that likes to share their practice, so if it's someone that has already say, run professional learning at school, at their school, run professional learning um, for maybe their, their network, perhaps run workshops for the Maths Association. And that's the sort of thing that they enjoy doing and they find fulfilling. Then the growth team role is an excellent way of combining being a teacher, which I'm assuming they love doing because that's why they're here, with um, that um, opportunity to be able to share their practice with other teachers. Actually being on the ground and being able to see what's changing in a classroom is what's really vital or really re rewarding I would say as well. I think it's a great opportunity. I don't know if anywhere else this role, type of role exists and so in my mind it was a really good chance to improve my pedagogy and one of my other goals is to improve my delivery of professional learning. And so this gets me right in there and I'm doing it all the time and I'm doing it across a number of schools. But it's all that focus on instructional leadership. The feeling that you get back when staff feel good about themselves and have, they walk back in and they're like, oh my God, I've just had the best lesson of my life. Um, it's, it's just really, really rewarding. Mm -hmm.